JDAM tutorial, Joint Direct Attack Munition Training. Alright, here I am inside the F-16 Falcon. I am going towards my IP point, steer point 4, and this is the training mission inside Free Falcon 5.5.1 on your tactical engagement section. This is an OCA strike. OCA stands for Offensive Counter Air. This mission is against enemy air bases or search radar. And here you can see the most critical part about the JDAMs, your strike attack point, in this case is steer point number 5. And remember, to achieve success in an OCA strike, you must hit the targets and reduce the operational status by at least 30%. So with the letter S, select your strike attack steer point. Now let me go down and engage your air to ground weapons by hitting backspace. Now hit OBS 7 to power up the four GVUs that you have on board and they take a little bit to get ready. While I was doing that, this is your target, primary target, your selector status, and your step status. The weapon is ready now. Change your ripple to 4. Next, activate your laser sniper pot, and you should see this black screen until you arm your jet. You can try to switch the color now, but you will still see this black screen. So, let's go get armed and dangerous. And now you can see the laser pod is active. You designate your targets with the number zero, understand the keyboard, and you reset the target with the dot next to the zero on the extended keyboard. Now let's look at the HUD, and I hope you remember all these cues from the other tutorials. Your target designated box and all that. And speed up and climb to or about 20 to 25,000 feet. Now all you have to do is pick all your weapons, drop your bombs, and go home. But how? It's all this possible. If you pan all the way to the right, next to your avionics panel, you will see the console receptacle where the pilot will insert the pre-briefed data unit. Prior to the flight, all the mission navigation, communication and identification data, plus target and weapon information are loaded into this unit. The pilot then inserts this data unit into the console receptacle and all the mission and information data is automatically loaded into the onboard systems. Now let's go back up front. There it goes, your lafting queue going by real fast. And here comes the release queue for you to pick all your weapons. Here it comes, let me go into the white screen mode. Pitch down to gain some speed. Line yourself up with the fly path marker. And press and hold your pickle button. Bombs away. And I'm going to slow down and get closer to the target for you to see it. You're not supposed to do this. As soon as you release your weapons, you need to get the hell out of there. But I'm just going to show you how the weapons follow and, and hit individual pre-assigned targets. Altitude. Altitude. Each bomb is gonna hit one building, so you should have four hits. You can either look outside, but to confirm that the target was destroyed, it's better for you to look to the right MFD, where your laser pod is locked into the target area. <laughs> and 
And there you go. Cabo. And that is it, folks. Pretty easy stuff. Thanks for watching. Fly safe. Ha, <laughs> you wish. These are the ideal conditions. You have a clear sky, your targets are preset, your goldfish still alive, and your grandmother doesn't do crack anymore. But what happens when you have bad weather? Your targets are not preset, and you have to use your CCIP delivery mode. So let's go check that out, people. Let's start right here on the map. You can see your strike attack point, steer point number five. If you put your mouse on top and right click on it, this menu will show up and the option recon will be available but we'll check that out later on now let's go to briefing and see what they want us to do on this particular mission they want you to destroy the underground storage or other facilities at the target site so destroy your underground storage and if you have any weapons left engage the other targets now check double check and triple check your strike attack point steer point number five and right under is your ordnance you can see that you have four 1,000 pounds, 35 penetration JDAMs. Now let's get out of here and go check our munitions. See if we can change them or make any changes to them. If you want, with your mouse, you can check and get a better angle of the weapons that you're carrying on your jet. You can also zoom in and zoom out. And when you get the angle that you want, just go and bring up the list of your weapons. Now, if you have enough time for takeoff, you can change your weapons, but right now this mission, it's already in the air, so you're not able to change any weapons. But if you had enough time, you can scroll down and change based on what you have available on the list. And you can see here on your jet how they are distributed under your wing. So if you could, you could change this JDAMs in between. You have three options available. And if you have a wingman or a complete flight of four or more, you can assign different weapons to each one of them. That is you. Now let's get out of here and go to our map into the recon option that I showed you before. This is the list of all targets available in the area. You can open each target site and analyze each target individually. But you should focus on the target that they want you to destroy. So close everything else and go to your target site. Now, even though these two targets are high priority, the administration building and the shipping dock, your main target is the underground storage, even though it says low. Now, you have other target sites, they have high priority targets. You can check those out, and if you have any weapons left, you can hit those as well. For example, this manufacturer 13 and 25, they have a high value if you want to hit those for some extra points. So, select your target, close the target list, and if you want to analyze this target, just use the tools underneath to rotate them, zoom in, zoom out, and see where it is. And if it's close to your target area, you might be able to hit it later on. Now let's close this and check our target site. The first target is the administration building, has a high value. One option for this strike could be destroy the underground storage and gain some extra points by hitting the administration building and the shipping dock. That's how I will do it, but you can do it however you want to. And rotate.